I'm a, I'm a mountaineer and a climber, simply. And always have, well, have been since the age of 16. There's all kinds of different challenges depending on the kind of mountain that you're climbing and what actually happens on that mountain. I mean, I suppose the, the biggest thing I've ever been involved in was the southwest face of Everest. And that, that was a huge logistical challenge. And my role as expedition leader was not to personally climb the mountain. My role was to hold the whole thing together, get the logistics right, get people working together to achieve success for the team. Whereas, say, I suppose the, the most hairy thing I've ever done was when Doug Scott and I climbed um, a mountain called the Yoga um, in Pakistan. And um, it developed into an absolute epic. The two of us got to the top of the mountain. Doug fell off on the first abseil down, broke both legs. Um, the weather broke. Uh, we'd actually run out of food. And took us, we went for five days without anything to eat. But fortunately, we did have um, stuck gas stoves, so we could actually melt water for snow. But we had, that was all we had. And I, I fell and broke my ribs, and eventually we got down. But that, that was a, a long, drawn-out epic. But, you know, I think as if you've been climbing all your life, you just learn to take the rough as well as the smooth, and you just make the best of whatever situation you happen to be in. And, um, and that's the way you actually get out of it. Following and doing the things that you really want to do and have an absolute passion for. And you're doing it not for money, you're not doing it for fame, or it would be a good career move, etc., etc. You're doing it because you really want to do it. And whether it's climbing a mountain or whatever it might mean. With me, it's been climbing a mountain every time. When you're at the height of your powers, and, and you know, and you're, you're a very good athlete. Um, and the, the joy of physical expression is so great. Whereas now with climbing, I mean, you know, whereas in the old days I drifted up climbs, I now creak up them. <laughs> but I still love being in the hills and the mountains, even though I'm climbing at a much lower level. So that, no, I don't miss it. I, I savour what I've done, but much more to the point, I live in the present and I enjoy what I'm doing in the present.